In 2010, 93% of the world's white and 40% of the world's black rhinos inhabited South Africa. That equated to 80% of the world's population. This was one of South Africa's greatest conservation achievements, seeing that in 1990 the population was a mere 50 and by 2010 South Africa could boast almost 18,000 rhinos. This was achieved by cooperation between the private and corporate sector. It was highly rewarding for farmers to breed rhinos for sale and this made it worthwhile for them to protect and care for the animals. In 2000, demand for the rhino horn skyrocketed in Asia and South Africa experienced a huge influx of Asian hunters legally hunting rhinos primarily for their horns. This influx of hunters and enormous amount of rhinos hunted made it essential for stricter rules to be implemented and Asians especially found it almost impossible to legally hunt for the sole purpose of obtaining rhino horns. The demand subsequently exploded. Due to the enormous value of the rhino horn, poachers are prepared to risk their lives for the scarce commodity and most of the poaching takes place in the national parks comprising of millions of hectares and are mostly bordering neighboring countries. Bordering neighbors that do not assist in combating poachers makes it well near impossible to combat poaching. The problem is that most of the incidents are only brought to the anti-poaching forces attention after the fact, once the damage has been done. The only hope is the private sector, especially where the breeders can dehorn the animals and breed on smaller farms where the animals would be safe. Areas like the Northern Cape and Kalahari, where rhinos are well suited and where security is more effective, the poachers have less opportunities, especially seeing that the topography does not afford as much cover and it is more difficult for them to escape detection. Dehorned rhinos make it unattractive for poachers to risk their lives. Smaller areas also make it easier for anti-poaching units to detect poachers before they are successful. Our team of rhino experts and DNA and genetic experts specialize in ensuring that the animals are cared for exceptionally well and that the caring and protection of the rhino population ensures the future of an optimum improved population. Our highly specialized security system and passionate anti-poaching unit as well as the motivated teamwork the farmers and public have, the poachers are apprehended before they are able to successfully poach the animal. <laughs>